What's up, everybody? Today we are reviewing the String Vision Bow Grip. If you look carefully, you can see it says String Vision right here. String Vision is the group that made the posture peg. So if you've ever noticed that my cello has three visible pegs here, uh, I got this key that I can use to tune the C string here, um, which is cool for me because it lets me sit, sit a little bit taller when I play. But I think that the bow grip is a little bit less known compared to the posture peg. So I've been using these for a few years. A lot of my students play on them. I've let a lot of my cello friends try it out. Some love it, some don't. So I'm going to weigh out the pros and cons that I've seen over the years playing on this. And maybe you can see if it's going to be a good fit for you. Let's check it out. All right, it's time for the pros and cons. We have two bows here. We have Mean Green, the one I usually play on, and we have Big Red, which is kind of my beater bow. So the first pro that I see from the list is that it really gives me a good grip here on the pinky. Over the years, especially when I was growing up, I had a lot of trouble getting traction here on this spot. So it would fall through. I was constantly having to readjust it. And one of my cello teachers actually had a leather strip that ran on here. I can't remember what it was for, what the deal was, but one time I borrowed his bow and I was like, wow, this is amazing, I can get a good grip. But that leather thing wasn't really a standard thing. When I put the bow grip on here, it reminded me of that feeling and suddenly I could really get a lot more use out of my pinky when I was on the bow. That's my favorite thing about it. Another cool thing is on this side, you'll see there's a little thumb pocket in here. So when I'm holding the bow, I try not to squeeze and press in here, right? That's gonna tense up my bow hold. When I have this thumb pocket in here, it makes it that much easier to just hook in my thumb and then I'm good to go. So the combination of this and the thumb pocket makes it really easy to keep my hand relaxed on here. I also really like that it doesn't change the shape of the bow and it's very lightweight. So I've used some bow devices where it does change how you hold it a little bit, but not this one. It barely adds anything onto it, which is pretty cool. I also want to point out that if you do a lot of rhythmic grooves and a lot of chopping, that this can really help keep everything in place. Let's go back to the table. It's also not that hard to take on and off. So to take it off, I can basically just peel it off like this. Maybe there's a better way to do that. I don't know, but that's how I do it. I just kind of peel it off. And then to put it on, I just slide it back. And there we go. All right, so as much as I love playing on this thing and as much as it's made my bow hold feel more natural on the bow, there are some things that may not work. One of my cello friends pointed out that this thumb pocket didn't really feel right to him. Now, um, I want to point out he would bow with his thumb like in this spot, in here. I don't know if you can see that, but like right in here is where he kept his thumb. I keep my thumb up here usually, but he likes resting his thumb in here, kind of like, kind of like this. Um, so I don't know. I don't. I feel like if I held my bow like that, I could still do a fine job, but for him it was weird. If you are one of those cellists that plays with your thumb in that zone and you've tried the bow grip, I'd love to know how it worked out for you. That'd be really good data. I also want to point out that some of my students have had issues with tearing at their bow grips. Here is the main spot that I've seen it at. I'm pausing this video because I left out something important. The students that have had this issue with the tearing all had soft cases. None of my students with hard cases have had this issue. In fact, one of the students whose bow grip was tearing switched to a hard case and he said that he noticed no more changes and he thought that it was from going in and out of the soft case. That's something to consider. It might just be from the soft cases. So I went ahead and emailed String Vision and let them know. John got back to me really, really fast over there and uh, I sent him some pictures so he could see what was going on. He said that's not an issue that he's really run into, um, but he made it right and uh, he sent two replacements, which is really cool. So I have those ready and um, the tears haven't gotten noticeably bigger. It doesn't look like their bow grip is about to fall off or anything, um, but I'm keeping my eye on it. 
but it's good to know that they made it right. By the way, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. All of these bow grips were paid for out of pocket, um, but it's cool to know that when there was an issue, they made it right and responded so fast. So I would recommend giving this a shot. I think last time I checked, it's around 15 bucks. You can get it on Amazon or from the String Vision site. Um, I think if you're someone who's been looking to get a little bit more traction here, if you feel like it's a little bit too slick for you on here, a standard frog is a little too slick, you might want to give it a shot. For this price, you really can't go wrong. So that's my take on the String Vision Bow Grip. I like these a lot. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like so I know, and please subscribe so you can see more videos like this. And that's all we got for today. We are signing off. Chili Dog String.